Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if I can make it turn up a treat. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here a foil cover, a foil lid. This came off a, a uh, some sustagen, a, sus a, a uh, tin of sustagen. Sustagen being, I think, I don't know if it's called sustagen gold, but it's from, a, from sustagen, which is like a meal replacement type of thing. I do like mirror replacements because they are convenient and they taste really nice. So I have this for lunch. Yeah, that looks really quite interesting. I do think we can push it up a little bit, uh, I think. Or is it down? We're going to push it. Looks like I've got it nicely lined up anyway. So I'm going to push it up. It's just there, there. So we're just going to push it up. Try to straighten it. Yeah, that looks interesting. We still have that corner there. Um, I do think maybe we can move it. Maybe, I don't know how to make it. Um, we can move it across this way. Just a little. I'm gonna wondering how this is gonna look. Yeah, that looks interesting. We still got a little bit in the corner, but we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, do you think it's a little bit? It's a bit off the glass. Uh, I do think maybe I might squash it onto the glass and see what happens. So I'm just going to flatten it down. Even though it's going to be a little bit wrinkled, it might look nicer. With It should look a lot better with some wrinkles. So we're just going to squash that down and we're just going to press it. Yeah, that looks interesting. It looks a bit too bright now. <laughs> we've got it too, too bright. Looks like it's a bit on the bright side. I think we're going to maybe darken it a bit. I'm going to darken it. This should work, hopefully. Yeah, I'm missing a loved one, folks. His name is Luigi, and I'm trying to get in touch through social media. And I know we can't marry at this stage because uh, married weddings are banned in New South Wales due to the COVID crisis we're having and the lockdown as a result. It's really doing my head in that I can't, that I'm not free 
I don't feel like I'm free. This has got a bit of a rainbow appearance to it. But basically, I don't feel happy because I'm not free. But we have to relinquish our freedoms temporarily to deal with this outbreak that doesn't seem to show any signs of letting up. It doesn't seem to be uh, going anywhere except up. The only way is up, baby, you and me there. But that shouldn't be what that song is about, but it seems to be what's happening. It's like COVID singing that song instead of someone who's celebrating life long before COVID was even thought of. I think we can use this, but basically we can't, we can't. It's like our lives are put on hold, folks, that we just can't celebrate. We can't enjoy freedom. Uh, and even though I really think it's silly that people are protesting against this lockdown, no, no, I understand, right? I do understand why people are protesting. It is a horrible thing to lose your freedom to do what you want and all that, but fuck, you're going to spread the disease more if you fucking protest you know you're going to fucking spread it further with all the violence and the close getting up close and personal with people but i do understand i'm i understand why i want to see in this case at least i want to see both sides of the story folks both on the sides of the protesters and the sides of the uh authorities and these are opposite side uh, opposite sides and this has turned up looking really nice already i think we could do a better job of it but basically i want to be on i want to understand both sides of the story or two sides of the coin so to speak um because we've got to get in there as a nation and we've got to get vaccinated vaccination not protests we've got to get vaccinated folks if you can just get vaccinated instead of protesting you know that'd be good you know we can do it, folks. We can get vaccinated and get the shit, vax the living daylights out of this disease. Um, well, I can understand from the protesters' angle that it's not fun having to deal with this disease and deal with the with all the restrictions that we have been lumped with. It's not an easy uh, pill to take, um, but it's the only way. We've got to until we get to the point where they say like 70 at least or 80% of the popular gets vaccinated we should see at least some of these restrictions lift or at least they'll they'll provide incentives for people to be vaccinated like vaccination only in pubs and clubs uh, vaccinate vaccinated only I know it sounds a bit some people might use the word communism and all that, but we have to fucking deal with this disease, folks. And the only way to deal with it is to get is to vax the living shit out of it. You've got to vax it, folks. It's the only it's the only long term way we're going to deal with this shit. There's no other way, folks. Let's see how we go with this. I'm a person who really has an, a respect and an admiration for science and medicine. So I really want to see us get vaccinated so we can end these lockdowns or at least re reduce them significantly because we can't live in lockdown forever. We can't live like this. And if people keep getting infected because they've decided to go to a protest, well, fuck, we're not going to ever get out of this. It's going to keep spreading. People are going to keep dying and getting sick. Uh, but, you know, I know what... I understand, folks. Uh, I've never been a... I've, when I was a kid, I was fascinated with the concept of protest. For some reason, I found seeing them on television very fascinating as a child. I think I was about eight years old uh, when I was a kid. And I, when I thought of... When I was in found it fascinating and intriguing picking up a placard and walking out on the street and chanting protest slogans yeah I, I, I can understand 
to some extent. Now that looks really nice. I do think maybe we're going to keep that void or we're going to cut it out. Uh, I don't know. Um, but basically, yeah, I found it interesting as a kid. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things... A lot of things that don't work very well in this world, folks, and protest is indeed something that people have turned to in order to set things straight, um, even if it doesn't normally achieve its goal. I just find that with protesting, it doesn't seem to achieve the, the goal of what the protest movement is trying to achieve but there is a lot of bad things out there there's a lot of things that are not fair and that it's worth to a lot of people it's worth um, trying to make a difference by getting out there and, and rallying or protesting and it's understandable because there's a lot of unfair shit going down and we have to yeah, but unfortunately we, we can't. We've got to get. We've got to try a bit to be a bit more, re, bit more united in this pandemic because we're not going to beat it uh, by protesting, especially if if most of the protesters are not wearing masks. Which is, I know masks really suck. They do, folks. I hate them. I fucking hate wearing them. I don't like masks. I don't like having my breathing obstructed. It, it feels that way. Uh, it really does. It feels really asphyxiating to wear these fuckers. I don't like them. And that's the thing. I don't want to wear them in, when summer comes this, this year. I don't want to have to wear them, especially outdoors or in any place where there's no air conditioning. I want to have the freedom to safely go without a mask. And I want this to happen by summer. It's already starting to heat up and I'm not good at breathing through things on a hot day. I can't wear these fuckers on a hot day. So the only way we're going to get our ticket to freedom from wearing them is to get vaccinated as, as a populace. Forget about the, the worry of, of the AstraZeneca blood clot issue. That's like one in every two million people. That's rare. And we need to keep the Pfizer for people who need to take it, like the young people, you know, the teenagers, the under 18s, I think is the, um, is what they're being, reserving it mostly for. AstraZeneca is, there's plenty of it, and it, it does a good job. You just have to talk to you, maybe if you have worries, talk to your um, GP about it. Just take, just take my advice as a, purely as a guide. Uh, don't, don't set it in stone because I'm not an expert. So just talk to you. But I do advise you to just talk to your GP or talk to your medical professional, whoever he or she might be, uh, and ask the questions about the blood clots if, if that's on your mind and AstraZeneca versus Pfizer. You know, all that sort of shit. Throw it at your, at your medical professional or GP. So, yeah. Because we've got to get out of this. We can't live in lockdown forever. It's not good for your mental health. It's not good for your budget. Not being able to work. You know, having to be in, an, in jobs that no longer exist or businesses going bust. We can't have that, folks. Anyway... That's come up looking quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.